The original Five Nights at Freddy's game is known for a number of things, but more than anything, it's known for its animatronics. So in this video, I'm going to be attempting to beat Five Nights at Freddy's 1 without looking at the animatronics. Um, hang on, I'm getting a call. Hey, it's your boy. It's Thinga. Who, who the fuck wrote this script? I just wanted to call you to let you know that I did this challenge and it's completely impossible, Jericho. Well, I mean, it actually is. You're just bad. Right, listen here, you fucking twat. It's not possible, I'm telling you. I don't care how skilled you are at this game, it's not happening. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Anyways, let's start with night one. <laughs> night one is pretty much dead, with nothing happening. So, here's the part of the video where I explain how everyone works for the 10 millionth time. Every animatronic has a movement interval, and on this interval, the game will roll a random number between 1 and 20. If the number rolled is less than or equal to the animatronic's AI level, then they will move. If you don't understand, watch literally any Final of Freddy's challenge video. Anyways, so on night 1, the animatronics don't move until 2am, and their AI level is so low that there's really no reason to worry. So we can just keep the left door closed from 3am and survive that way. Easy peasy. On to night 2. <laughs> night 2 is a lot trickier than night 1 and it all has to do with one character. Foxy. Foxy will progress through three different stages before charging at your door and slamming to into it at top speed. Every time that he hits your door, he takes power. 1% the first time, 6% the second, and 11% any other hits. So, if we don't want Foxy to hit the door, how do we stop him? We have to use the camera, which we can't do because doing so would force us to look at Freddy on the show stage, since he always starts there. You would have to change the camera fast enough to prevent this from happening. And the only liable camera would be the kitchen camera since there's no video feed. So, for this night, we are going to have to do it without cameras, which is a lot more difficult than you think. If Foxy hits the door three times, it's pretty much just over. But if you can close the door at 3am, again, you can just cheese this night, so it didn't take too many attempts. <laughs> night 3 is where this challenge gets a bit more tricky. Ugh, hang on, I'm getting another call. What the f*** do you want? Look, Jericho, I know you think you're smart with your little smooth Australian brain and your Victoria bitter, but I'm telling you, it really isn't possible, man. Just hear me out. <clears throat> anyway, Foxy attacks pretty frequently, and he's quite annoying. Unlike night 2 however, Chica leaves first so we don't have to worry about Bonnie for the first part of the night, however we still have to worry about Foxy. Realistically, the fastest Foxy can kill us is in 25 seconds after the night starts, but he pops one attack until 1am, so that's what I did. However, once 2am rolls around, we have to start worrying about Bonnie and again, Foxy is super annoying. This game is pretty much impossible and I really do mean that. It's impossible to beat this game without cameras, because Foxy drains way too much character from this night onwards. And this is where Dingo originally said this challenge wouldn't be possible to beat. So, is it over? So Freddy leaving the solo stage allows us to finally look at the camera without looking at a character, which means that we can stall Foxy. Granted, we can't look at his camera unless we know he's in stage 1, but that's super risky. However, this made the rest of Night 3 possible. <laughs> night 4 is much the same. However, we need to be making sure that we really pay attention to all the characters. So, from here, I'm going to explain how to beat every single character without looking at them. Starting with Chica, we can't check her door light because otherwise we will see her. However, from Night 4 onwards, Chica makes this sound when she enters the right hall corner. So, we know if this sound plays, she's about to hit our door. She also makes pot and pan sounds when she's in the kitchen, and this means that we can also tell when she leaves, although she's definitely the most risky. Bonnie is easier, although he does have his own challenges. This is because, unlike Chica, Bonnie doesn't have to go to the hall corner, which means we can't hear him with the sound, like we can with Chica. However, we can check Bonnie's light. However, we do have to shut the door so we can only see your shadow. Now, if you don't think this counts, let me know in the comments, but personally, I don't think it counts. We aren't looking at him himself, so I think it's fine. Foxy is a pain, but we can deal with him. Obviously, we can just use the camera on every 5.01 second interval, or just guess. Ideally, you just have to hope that Foxy never moves and that you can stall him. Freddy is annoying, as once he gets to the whole corner, the only way to stall him is to shut the right door before you flip the camera. 
However, if you're good enough or get lucky enough, Freddy won't make it. But he's not that bad. So there we go. As we beat Night 4, we move on to the final challenge. Night 5 is pretty much exactly the same as Night 4. So, without further ado, let's do this. So there we are, it is possible to beat Final Fantasy Freddy's 1 without looking at the animatronics. Uh, what now? Jericho man, you haven't listened to me for the whole video, you didn't beat the challenge. Alright listen here dingo, you little rip off British I just beat the challenge. Jericho you twat, look at the office, what's hanging on the wall? Mother fuck. <laughs> 